Welcome to your first training video for Infinite Campus, our new student information system that has replaced PowerSchool. This video will teach you how to get around inside of Infinite Campus. You will access Infinite Campus the same way you access PowerSchool. First, navigate to and log in to NC Ed Cloud. Here you will see a new icon labeled NCSIS or NCSIS. Clicking on this will take you to Infinite Campus. In this video, you'll notice that the color of Infinite Campus on my screen looks a little different. It's red, and you may see some additional features that are a little bit different from what you see on your screen. This is because I'm using a demo account to make this video. Once you've launched into Infinite Campus, you may land on a screen like this called the Message Center. The Message Center is where you will see messages displayed from the district level or from your school. To change to the main screen, you can simply click the three lines here in the top left corner. We'll call this the hamburger menu. From here you can see different categories, instruction, student information, behavior office, communication, and my account. We're mainly going to stay in the instruction category. Here I can quickly switch from message center to teaching center. This is the main page for most teachers. You'll be able to use and see all of your course cards displayed here and you can do some quick features such as taking attendance or entering grades. Anytime you want to access tools in Infinite Campus just click the hamburger to expand that menu. Next to the file folder menu you'll see this star. This star is where we can favorite our, our most used tools. For instance, let's go back and go to Teaching Center because this is a tool that I'll use often. Once I have the Teaching Center open, you'll notice this little star here next to the title. If I click that, that will now be a favorited tool and when I click on my Favorites menu, here's Teaching Center for quick and easy access. Beside that, you'll see Most Recently Used Tools. This will just display a list of the tools that I've used most recently, so that's another great way to find what you're looking for. Next to this hamburger menu, you'll see this magnifying glass. This is a powerful tool which allows you to search, specifically for students or tools. Let's say, for example, I want to search for a student. Type their last name first, for example, Newton, and that student's name will appear here. If I click on that student, it will load that student's profile. Here I can see that student's home household information. Uh, if they have any specific medical needs, etc., that will all show up here on this screen. Then to the right, I can find additional information about this student, such as attendance, grades, and so forth. One really useful tool here is the schedule option. By clicking on a student's schedule, I can see where that student is at any time in the day in the building. Another way we can quickly find student information is through our course cards. So I'm going to go back to the Teaching Center and select any of my classes here. So I'm going to click on this class and here at the top I have four menu items, Classroom, Curriculum, Students, and Grades. If I click Students, I'll see each of these students' names. They're in blue to tell me that those are hyperlinked, and if I click on one of them, I can quickly pull up information about that student, or jump to a more detailed view like I just showed you with Mr. Newton. Let's take a moment and look at these settings in the upper right. In the top right, you'll see the school year and your assigned school or the school that you're working in currently. If you work with students at multiple schools, you may see additional schools in this drop-down menu here. In this account, I only have access to one school. You can also look at various calendar years here as well. So make sure that you have the correct calendar year and the correct school uh, selected. Next to that, you'll see this bell icon. This bell icon will take you to the Message Center where you can see notifications that you've received. 
The question mark will take you to the knowledge base, which will load a completely different website. Um, that's not going to work here because I'm in the training instance, but that's where you can find articles and things to help you uh, navigate your way around and learn more about Infinite Campus. And then the grid icon will open up and show you any other campus tools that we have access to. One last tool I want to show you here in the upper right is the user menu. Here you can customize settings related to your account in Infinite Campus. Let's jump over to instruction settings. In instruction settings you can change how things are displayed. For example, if you want to show student pictures, you can do that. If they're available, they will show up. Take a moment to look through these and select any settings that you want to change. And then click Save. To get back to the Teaching Center, I can either go through Instruction and click Teaching Center, or if you recall, I favorited it, and I can click it here as well and that will take me back to my course cards. This is where we'll start our journey in the next video where we'll talk about taking attendance.